They're coming around. They're telling you all types of stuff. They want you to believe their version of events. They really want you to buy in to what they're trying to sell you. But beware, these flying monkeys can be vicious, okay? And they're not throwing bananas at you, okay? They're coming at you with wrenches, with hammers, or sometimes they come with you very subtly, seeming very pure, but their intentions are anything but. All right, guys, listen, we're going to get into why are the flying monkeys around us? Why will they not leave us alone? But let's talk about what are the flying monkeys. Think about the movie, The Minions, okay? And think about how they work for someone. You understand? Like, they're, they just, they just do what they do. They just say what they say. They just do what they're told. They just follow the commands. Okay. And these are what the flying monkeys in your life are doing to you right now as we speak. Okay. These flying monkeys, they work for somebody and nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, you know, almost every single time they are working for a narcissist they are working for a narcissist okay the most toxic people on the planet all right now the flying monkeys you may or may not know so you may know them very casually they may be in your family they may be in your friend group they but you don't realize that they are a flying monkey you don't realize that when they come around you and they start conversing with you, they actually have a motive for doing that. They're not just trying to have some cheerful banter with you. They're trying to get information from you to go back and report to the narcissist, to the person that wishes they could be like you. So the narcissist will know, will have intel about your next moves. Okay. So we have to remember something about these flying monkeys they're being misused too they're being used by the narcissist as well but they feel like it's their soulful duty they must do it they must um assist the narcissist and they know what they're doing it's not like the flying monkeys don't know that they are providing the narcissist with information oh they know what they may not know is how important how deeply deeply serious it is for the narc to get this information from you and the narcissist knows that they're not going to get it from you directly they don't want to make it seem like they they want to they you know if you have a narcissist in your life let's just say this right off the bat if you have a narcissist in your life right now you probably know how toxic they are and may have taken the steps to rid yourself of these people, okay? To, to go no contact or low contact with these people. Low contact meaning that you don't wish to really delve into specifics about your life with them. You'll keep things very short, very sweet, very prompt, very effective, done and done and done. You're not giving them the nitty gritty details of your life. Or if you decide to go no contact, you're not talking to them at all in any way, using any medium, you're not doing that. And so what the narc will do, because they know you've cut them off to a certain degree, they recruit. I repeat that. They recruit. They are the bosses. They recruit the flying monkeys. It could be their other children. It may be their neighbors. It may be their friends, their other friends. It may be other family members. I mean, they will, they will use these people around them at their disposal to try to contact you and get information from you, not because they really want to see if you're doing well, which really is just upsetting because they're not really trying to contact you to see if you're really doing all right. What they want to find out is what are you doing so that they can go back and report to the narc. That's what you don't know. And the problem, what starts happening is that you start diverging information to these flying monkeys not really worried, not really thinking that they're going back to the narc and telling them things that you just said, okay? Now the narc knows where you're going for vacation next month because you told this flying monkey that you're going away and now the narc knows you're going away. The narcissist could be a family member. The narcissist can be a, a boss, okay? So a career-based sort of environment. 
your 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 narc could be uh, an ex an ex-boyfriend girlfriend's uh, husband wife okay i mean like these people could take many forms but they all will have flying monkeys when it comes to you and when it comes to all their victims okay so be wary of the flying monkeys be very very cautious because they will come with the face of oh i just want to see if you're doing all right i just wanted i can you help me can you can you can you blame me for for wanting to know if you're all right they may even come so bold and say you know he misses you right you know she misses the kids right the, the grandkids you know you know you know they've been missing you at school or college they're wondering why you don't sit with them no more they they come on let's be friends they want to talk they and they'll start trying to coach you into forgiving the narc communicating with the narc because they know that you guys are not cool trust me and believe the fly monkeys will make it seem like they're none the wiser they don't know what's going on and a lot of times they do know what's going on. They just don't know how evil and dirty the narc can get. Like they probably know the flying monkeys, the workers, the slaves of the narc. They know that the narc is no good. You understand? It's not like they don't know this. But at the same time too, the flying monkeys are given a very important role. And the role is to find out as much information about you, who is a very important person. Okay, a person who has precious time, precious energy to protect. Do not give too much information to the flying monkeys. You're probably wondering, how do I identify these flying monkeys? How do I know if I'm talking to someone real or if I'm talking to someone who's fake? One thing, one way that you, one very, very, very good way to tell whether or not you're talking to someone who is your, your you know, good family member, good friend, good co-worker or someone shady is how often do they communicate with the narc because if you see them all the time together and then now the flying monkey comes to you talking about oh so how's everything going they're a snake the flying monkey is a snake they know that they're coming they know they're buddy buddy with the narc and now they're coming to you they know they talk about you so they know the, the the flying monkey knows that the narc hates your guts and is trying to attack you so that will be a glaringly obvious sign that this person that you're talking to that you're giving information to is a flying monkey is a is a recruitment of the narc okay you don't want to give information to the people who are have close ties with the narc that's the first and most important thing i could i can give you do not give information to people that you know regularly hang out with the narc, regularly talk to the narc. They may live with the narc. You understand? They may be close friends from, from, from childhood. You know what I mean? So be careful when you give information to the flying monkeys. Okay? I mean, like, and, and then also when people come around asking you questions and it's like it's coming out of nowhere and you do feel like it's a it's a perpetrated act to get attention from you and to get information from you and you feel like they're going to go and tell someone they're going to go tell that narc about you about what you've been up to interrogate the flying monkey be like well, why do you want to know why do you really want to know. Sometimes it's good to question people. Don't be afraid to question people's intentions. You're probably such a nice person, such a humble person. They think you won't care. You won't know. You won't be the wiser. A lot of times these people think that they know that you're very intelligent, but at the same time, they think you will be none the wiser coming, uh, you know, when it comes to finding them out. Oh, you know. You could feel it. You understand? You may not be able to verbalize it, but you can feel the energy and you know something's off. Right. So be careful with the flying monkeys. The flying monkeys are the people who have been recruited by the narcissist, by the vilifying, disgusting, trifling, homewrecker, um, um, just absolute, just uh, just epitome of scum. Narcissists are not good people, especially when they go out of their way and they start attacking you for no reason because they wish they could be like you. They had very they had many many missed opportunities to be someone great and they decide to destroy it and you know maybe things happen that they didn't get help for. 
But regardless of that, you're the subject of their hate and they're going to recruit people to find out about you because you cut them off. Snip, snip. That's what these narcissists deserve. And the flying monkeys may need to be cut off too, or at least, you know, you know, go low contact with these people if you know that they're just trying to come around you to get attention. All right, guys. So this is my video about flying monkeys, who they are and what are their goals. Okay, guys, stay vigilant and be happy. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you liked my video, leave me a comment and let me know what you liked about it. And as well, give me some ideas for some future videos. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.